So hello viewers. Today we have with us mother. He's from NSIT 2017 to 2021 batch. During placement, he bagged offer from Planners Park, ZS, and Bain. So out of these three, two were on campus, that is Planners Park and Bain, and ZS was off campus. So finally he decided to go with Bain. So it's time to ask him how hard it is. So, Madhur, what was your preparation strategy? Uh, hi, Rishabh. Uh, thank you for having me here. So, talking about my preparation strategy for Planet Spark, this was the first company that I got into, and uh, I applied for this in February during my training and placement process. Uh, and the strategy for this was it was actually a profile for business development. For which the company came, it was business development associate, like it was a sales profile. So I tried the process. The first uh, round for this was uh, GD, that is the group discussion round. Like first of all, there was a list of around 100 candidates who were asked to participate in GD. So after one GD, there was another uh, round of GD. It was more intensive than the previous one. And uh, after following these two G uh, GDs, I would say that around a list of uh, 40 candidates was created. So okay. now in this uh, third round of uh, for the 40 candidates, it was a role play round. So basically, uh, we were asked to uh, play the uh, role of a buyer and a customer uh, okay. one by one. And uh, after uh, this role play round, we were shortlisted for the in uh, for around 15 candidates were shortlisted. So okay. in this role play round, we had to use some sales techniques and strategies to convince the other party to sell our product or to buy a product, depending on the role that you are playing. Okay. Now talking about the final round in this, it was uh, a the uh, basic HR round, I would say. They asked me normal questions about my previous experience and my life and uh, my family and why I want to go into sales job. So yeah, yeah. I guess that was it. Hmm. So what I want to ask is that, what was your strategy? Like, did you also prepare for some, like from other, any resources? Uh, for this uh, Planet Spark uh, role, I, I did not actually, to be frank. Uh, but yeah, in the role play round, I was a little bit curious as to this was a new round for uh, I guess everyone. So I was uh, prepared a list of different ideas and strategies that I would use so that can make my sales pitch better. For example, we had to, in this roadway route, we had to sell uh, smoke detectors and uh, uh, like equipment like this, which help in the case of fire. So I just uh, employed some ideas and wrote down uh, some points. And we were given four or five days before the roadway round was completed. So I took the, uh, you took time, use of those time and created some tips and uh, ideas so that they can help me in that. So what was that business development, the profile you mentioned was about? Like, was it like one with case studies and all or was it something else, complete sales type job? Yeah. No, it was nothing related to case studies. It was actually, uh, okay, I'll tell you what actually included in the uh, role that I was there at Finance Park. So uh, business development basically is developing the business of the company. That Planet Spark is actually a startup that provides classes for public speaking and creative writing for students from class KG to 8. So our main aim was to create leads and generate uh, new leads from ourselves. And also we were given a set of leads and we had to try to convert those leads into potential customers and convince them to buy our uh, classes. That was okay. the main uh, job we had on our ends. Nothing okay. related to business analyst or case, case study and everything like that. Okay. So what was the package of CTC there? Okay, so the package that the company promised to us when it came to our college was severe. Uh, but the fixed package in this was uh, quite uh, less, I would say, around 4.4, 4, 2.5. Oh, yeah. And uh, variable depending on your so, performance. Yeah, the, and the rest was variable, 2.5 length. Like, it was depending upon the performance. Like we were given weekly targets of uh, a certain amount. And if someone overachieved those targets, we would be getting certain incentives. And they had some uh, conditions for that. So not talking about the Bain and ZS. So how did you prepare for these? Like because these cracking these uh, two companies is a very very difficult job. Okay, yeah, I'll just uh, explain those. So uh, after like I started working at Planet Spark in June. So after my uh, two and a half months, I would say I thought of switching to consulting jobs. Uh, so okay. I tried for ZS and. Uh, for ZS, I applied in uh, Ju July. Yeah, I guess July I applied off campus and uh, I got a uh, link for a test around one week after I applied. 
so the first round that was uh, it was like an aptitude round like it had questions for english and uh, like basic mental aptitude the sort of questions that you get in uh, cat as well like logical reasoning and uh, quantitative aptitude questions and uh, after those uh, questions there was a list of i guess eight questions of uh, decision making questions decision based questions that they were known as psdd questions like the uh, if i remember correctly okay. so these uh, questions were actually related to my profile which i applied for it's, it was da profile decision analytics associate so there were eight questions related to that and uh, all the questions were uh, all these two rounds were uh, elimination rounds like after i cleared the aptitude and english part i was able to attend the uh, those eight questions and after those eight questions there was another round it was like ai based uh, interview questions we had to submit uh, eight questions again uh, on this and these were all video recorded uh, at simultaneously like these questions were like what do you do if you are stuck in some situation at work where you have to use your morals and uh, go against your uh, seniors okay. so, such sort of questions or elaborate about the time in your uh, workspace when you achieve something going against uh, the normal routine and it was very challenging for you so these questions just tested us uh, on the basis of our personality and how we use our qualities to showcase us ourselves and come out of dif- difficult situations so these were the three rounds that were there uh, for uh, when i got the test rate and all the three rounds were uh, elimination rounds okay so talking about my preparation for the rounds uh, for the first aptitude and uh, ability questions i uh, just uh, went through some basic uh, questions from uh, india wix it's a site for ap- and ability questions also one can go through uh, books like arun sharma's uh, quantitative aptitude and some books but i would say they are not very that difficult. is for uh, uh, cat right the uh, yeah. for cat preparation yeah for the book that is there for cat uh, the s- sort of aptitude questions that are there in that book are the ones that we get in this but the level of these questions is not that high like if anyone okay. is interested to a lot then they can do from that book otherwise any normal site for aptitude questions would do hmm. would be enough so nice so after those uh, ai based round was there some other rounds uh, before the final section is yes yeah so after these three rounds uh, i was able to clear all the three rounds so i got a call after uh, a lot of time uh, for another round that was the case study test okay. so it was a case study round it was in the morning around 8 o'clock for me and it was a case study uh, basically it had a different questions related to a case like in my case it was a company that had a product and uh, i had to answer diff- different questions related to the sales and marketing strategy of that company uh, for, uh, pertaining to that case so in this uh, case study test uh, i was uh, like if i talk about my preparation i uh, went through the book case in point for uh, my case study preparation okay. like i went, went through some of the cases in the book uh, by mark consentino that book is and apart from that uh, there is a youtube channel that i uh, refer to i think it's uh, case interviews grant so i yeah, went yeah. through some of the cases in that book and i think that helped me a lot to help uh, part, tackle those case study test questions okay. so was it yeah, more and, like i sorry bro so was it so, more like idea based you have to get ideas or was it uh, based on numericals and quant it was actually a mix of both the questions in the case study uh, test some of them were numerical uh, questions and some of them were idea based so basically what happened was after the case study uh, test there were time allotted to each and every candidate for a case study interview the discussion of that same uh, case was to be done with the consultant of the uh, cst in the afternoon at some sort of time so we had to uh, submit our case study test at that time the test was given on a platform and then we had to discuss that with the interviewer in the afternoon session so some of them were numerical based questions which we have to solve in a sheet and send them and some of them were idea based questions which we have to discuss with our interviewer and after that you proceed to the hr right yeah so after the case study uh, round there was an hr round the next day uh, and uh, one more thing i would like to add is uh, if uh, like for candidates whose case study interview a case interview goes uh, well the the interviewer asked in uh, estimate questions as well like in my case i was asked a basic estimate question at the end of case interview and uh, one puzzle yeah one puzzle 
in that. And the next day I had an HR. Okay. So now let's come to Bain. That's the place you finally decided to go. So how did you crack the Bain? Okay. So talking about my experience in the recruitment process for Bain, uh, I would say that it was very, it was very unlikely time that it came for me. Like I had already got an offer from CS. So, uh, but still I thought, let's try for it. And I applied for Bain. Like Bain came into our college for candidates who had already passed out of the college and they allowed us to sit for it. So uh, talking about the uh, process, the first round. So first of all, there was a short list of 60 candidates uh, that were there for the test. So in that test, uh, like a lot of students, around more than 100 students applied for this company, but only 60 candidates were allowed to sit for the test based on sure. resume and CV, uh, CV and uh, CGPA shortlisting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. the test had around 20 questions and these were a little different from the test of CS, I would say. Uh, okay. We had one hour for, to solve these 20 questions and uh, 15 of them, around 15 were uh, logical ability questions and related to so, uh, problem solving and uh, in, uh, wanted some uh, mathematical calculations. And around four or five of them were decision making questions related to the situation that was given in those questions. Okay. Yeah, so after this uh, numerical uh, sort of test was completed, I got a call from HR after two, three days that you are shortlisted for the interview process for pain and your test went uh, good and we will be considering you for this and this profile and we would like you for you to attend the interviews. Okay. So talking about the interviews, the first round of interview was uh, basically a guesstimate interview. Like that was the main uh, point of interaction throughout the interview. It was uh, taken by a project leader at Bain and first of all, it was a very good, he was a very good interviewer and he uh, made me very comfortable and then we, it went on for around 45 to 50 minutes on the basis of our guesstimate interview. So what happened in this was, it was a very detailed discussion compared to other, I would say, rounds that I've given for other companies. So the guesstimate was very detailed and he wanted to know each and every point of my approach and how I went here and how I decided to uh, choose this metric and not that metric and which all the metrics I have not included and why should they not be there in my calculations. Yeah. So it was a thorough discussion of the guesstimate. Yeah. Um, yeah. So after the guesstimate was uh, cleared, I was uh, within 10 minutes, I got a call that yes, you are uh, have cleared this round and you will be getting another round from a manager of uh, Bain Capabilities Network. So yeah. after one hour, there was another round with uh, the manager. It was an HR round. So okay. I was expecting some HR questions in that basic HR fit questions, but that was uh, not the case. So in this round, I was given a hypothetical case situation okay. like this was the case for a company that is starting in the, the market and it has different competitors. It was basically a, a retail bottle company. So it's market entity. Company. So you have the market yeah, you can say it was starting in another domain which has already is existing in normal retail. But this uh, these company of bottled uh, uh, makers are starting now in the hospitality domain in one of the cities uh, that is a tourist city in the state of Rajasthan. Okay. So I had to calculate the requirement and the market size that we required for this spot in the okay. city. Yeah. So that was the whole uh, discussion in like the starting discussion in that interview, mm -hmm. the market entry of this uh, product. And at the end of this uh, discussion of the case, there were some basic HR questions that were asked, like why I want to come into this field and why, why consulting and why I'm leaving my previous job. So within this round or some next round? Within this round, no, they within this some... round only. Okay. Within this round, at the end of the interview, after the case, uh, hypothetical case questions were covered. Okay. So yeah, so that was it. Okay. Yeah. So what the uh, what was the CTC GS was offering, and what's the CTC being offering now, right now? Okay, so uh, for the DA profile that I applied for, uh, GS was offering seven point five lakh fixed CTC yeah. per annum. And uh, for Bain and Company, the CTC uh, fix was nine lakhs, but out of that, eight uh, lakh was fixed, and uh, some other part was uh, bonus based, performance bonus. Okay, that's nice. So before leaving, 
any tips or tricks you would like to uh, give to your juniors who possibly be sitting for the GS and Bain this year? Yeah, so first of all, one tip that I also face a problem and I realized it late was to be a very calm in those case interviews and vestibules because the time that you get to collect your thoughts between the time that the interviewer asks you and then time that you note the vestibule questions, that time can be very awkward and very intimidating for you. So try to be calm and think of an approach that you can explain to the interviewer that you also think is logical and will be helping you to create that round. And uh, apart from that, uh, one skill uh, tip I would give is go through the, uh, that is the JD, that is the job description that is given. Like what is the role that the company is offering? Like an example of, uh, for Bain, the profile that I'm working is in data sets and technology. So in the first uh, round that was there for Bain, the interview round, he also grilled me a little on the uh, COE that is there for me, that is data sets and technology. So I had gone through that. So that also helped me in having a conversation with the interviewer. So, thanks, Madhu. That would be all for today. Thanks for your very good advice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And thank you a lot for your time. Man. See you, man. Yeah, thank you, Rishabh. Thank you. Man.